Hey everybody, it is Nicole and um, I am going to be unboxing um, two, uh, two different uh, shipments that I got uh, today. One is from Knit Crate and the other is from Furls. Um, Furls has their, I think it's their own uh, line of yarn. It's called Wander. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing that and unboxing it and showing it to you. Um, so, um, if you could, uh, do me a favor and watch the whole video from beginning to end, that would be fantastic. Um, and then also hit the like button, subscribe, um, because I am going to be having a whole whopping three giveaways coming up um and they're all probably going to be launched um tomorrow um yeah probably tomorrow with all different uh fun stuff uh one is going to be uh for breast cancer awareness um the other is for all of my subscribers and the other one lucky me is actually a uh, sponsored giveaway by a LYS and I um, have had the pleasure to work with this particular LYS on more than one occasion and so um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't so uh, you are able to participate in these giveaways because I really want you to be able to win what I have. Um, so um, again, subscribe, like, share, um, comment, all that fun, fantastic things. So first we're gonna start off with the furls um, yarn. So I got one, two, three, I got five skeins of yarn and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to show them to you. Um, they, um, uh, if you go on to Furls' website now, um, and then they actually have now a uh, yarn that is uh, also made by, I think it's Lion Brand. So um, you may wanna take a look uh, at their site as well if you're interested at the yarn uh, that they have uh, made by yarn uh, lion brand as well so um, this one is it's on the um, the wrapper it does say furls and it's called wander so I'm just gonna um, show you what I got um, and when I did get it um, how they and I think they still have it on their site. It comes with, um, it, you could get a pattern with um, with it according to, you know, maybe your, a particular colorway that you're looking for. And then um, you will also, it comes with uh, a hook of your uh, choosing. So uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. So that's why I ended up picking it up. So I'm gonna show you the yarn. Um, and um, so yeah, so let's uh, get a move on. So um, this is the first one. Um, uh, this one is called Sunrise and it's 100% acrylic, um, four uh, weight, medium worsted weight. And it is a, um, looks like it says uh, five millimeter. And um, like I said, it's uh, really soft. Um, I, when I got it, this is how I came. It, it was kind of all coming apart, but um, it's a nice, um, like I guess, terracotta orangey color. Um, and uh, it's, I mean, it's definitely squishable. Uh, I really like it. It's, it's a nice, nice color. Um, and then the next one that I got here is called Peninsula. Again, the same thing, 100% acrylic. Um, it's a four medium and same hook size. And it says actually on the side, it says, Wander is Furl's first acrylic yarn. Airy, soft, satiny, and in a wide variety of colors. 
Winder is for fiber artists who love a touch of luxe and easy versatility. Uh, so uh, this is um, maybe a mint green color. Um, and definitely um, soft and you know of course it's it's because it's the acrylic um, so that's number two and then this one here um, is called tundra and this one is definitely like an ice blue color um, and same specs it's a four um, and it's definitely soft and it does feel very soft very luxurious um and if you you can see there um it's i guess yeah it's definitely for something i would use um or you know like i said put in um one of my mystery boxes so um that's number three and then um so then i did also get some darker colors now this one is midnight now, of course, as you know, blue is my favorite color. Um, same specs. Um, it's a uh, four medium weight, and it's a nice uh, navy dark blue, um, and uh, nice and, and squishy. So um, I think like this here, these three, um, you know, would go really well together. All right, and then the last one is called uh, conifer. I don't know what conifer is, um, but it's a foresty green. Um, again, same specs, 100% acrylic, and it's a four uh, four weight medium. Um, so I'm pretty actually impressed. Um, although Furls is um, known for their hooks, I have um, more than one of their hooks, and I really like. Um, either their uh you know their resin ones uh or uh is it their odyssey hooks um so they do help with my uh, fibromyalgia although right now i am not having a good time because i did too much resin pouring from yesterday if you caught my um pour uh from uh yesterday there were several um videos that i uh, tried to space out so because uh, they're going to be for the giveaways that I have planned um, some are for donations some are for uh, mystery boxes some are gifts stuff like that so um, like I said uh, uh, these are beautiful yarns I would definitely recommend um, you know if you're interested in buying Frills's yarns their yarn because if you can see there um it does say uh furls there but i know that uh they do have the lion brand as well so we're gonna put them back in the bag and these um you know i would either keep them for myself and put them in my stash or i will um you know i might give them away or you know put them in my mystery boxes um, because they are very, they're beautiful yarns. Um, there's no doubt about that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and open the uh, Knit Crate uh, yarns. So, um, I don't know if you remember last week, um, I also had ordered some uh, yarn from them. They had um a uh, special where you could order so much yarn and you get this like really great discount on so many skeins of yarn depending you know you get so much percentage off depending on how many skeins you order and so i believe i ordered eight more to add to the stash so that um you know if i get any more orders because my shop is still open. I still have, you know, a handful of boxes available if you're still interested um, to, um, you know, put more wonderful yarn, uh, especially coming from Knit Crate. They make uh, fantastic uh, yarn that is specifically made for them and their um, their crates. Um, so, uh, so yeah. 
So I am going to take out what I got and we're gonna take a look at it. And it looks like they're all different weights, so which is always fun. And it doesn't look like I got any duplicates, which is always fun. So, all right, so this one, this first one here, is a nice like ocean blue. Uh, and this one is uh, uh, Vedlana uh, Ascendance, and it's called Vivid Blue, and it is 100% uh, Peruvian Highland wool sport weight, 328 yards or 100 grams. Hand wash, gently dry flat. And of course, custom made in Peru exclusively for Knit Crate. Um, so, and uh, it looks like it's a chain spun uh, yarn, if you can see there. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Um, but it's, um, it's definitely a squishable yarn. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm, I never, I had never really, um, I didn't know of Knit Crate until I had seen other uh, YouTubers um, unbox their uh, sub uh, subscriptions. And I'm, um, I've been pretty happy getting it this way and not necessarily as a subscription. Um, I like to be able to control when I get the yarn and not have to be committed to um, buying or getting a subscription every single month and, you know, like getting two of the same yarns, uh, you know, every month or whatever it is. Um, and I know that you have, you know, the ability to skip or stop or whatever it is, um, but I didn't like the idea of necessarily um having you know to be kind of committed to any sort of subscription so having it this way is really nice plus you get a nice wide variety of yarns so there's this one that's one oh and actually it looks like i did get a duplicate so i got two of these really nice royal purples so this one is a Nitology um wisp and it's called rainfall and it is also DK weight, 100% merino, um, US 7 or an I. Um, and again, beautiful uh, yarn. Um, and as you can see, is this uh, nice uh, royal purple color. Um, so I don't know where all these fuzzies are coming from because that's how it came out of the bag. Um, but I think it's from the other yarns so I'm, I'm assuming it's because it's all is the wool so um, but yes uh, it's gorgeous gorgeous yarn all right next one Ooh, this one is fun all right so it looks like an uh, like an aqua blue with black um, and it's ooh yarn electric um, I think I saw this um, on another YouTuber. Uh, they got it in their subscription box. So it's called Rave. 40% uh, uh, Hukaya Alpaca, 30% Wool, 30% Surrey Alpaca, and it's a worsted weight. 150 yards or 150 or 100 grams. Um, but this is definitely fun. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like the 90s, you know? So um, that's a lot of fun. I think this would work out really nice, um, especially with maybe, um, like maybe something like this together. That would be fun. All right, next one is an uh, Vidlana Ascendance, and this one is Fatigue Green. 100% uh, Peruvian Highland Wool, uh, and it's uh, E4 sport weight, 328 yards and 100 grams. Um, and I really like this as well. Love the green color. Um, and I can say this, that for the most part, 
um, you know, Mid Crate's yarns are always really soft, not scratchy. Um, and I'm assuming it's because of the wool. Uh, and, you know, it, it smells nice. I mean, I don't know. I, it's funny because I never used to smell my wool, but, or my yarn, but um, this is, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a nice, uh, green color. And then, let's see, ah, we got this nice gray color. I like this. This is a silvery color, silvery gray color. Uh, Dean Wool's, uh, Harmony. Rhythm and Blues. And so this, it sounds like that, um, with these yarns are coming from, uh, the subscriptions that other people have gotten, which I have absolutely no problem with whatsoever because I got a steal. Uh, so it's 41% uh, wool, 26% alpaca, 23% tensile, and 10% baby camel. It's a worsted weight, 150 yards, and 100 grams. Um, so as you can see, um, it's uh, this nice gray silvery color um would go well with pretty much anything i mean gray goes with i would say almost anything so gray is a nice neutral color like black all right um and then we got another um nice green color um and it's not really just green i to me i see um bits of I don't know, maybe some reds in there? Maybe it's just my imagination. Um, but it's another uh, Vedlana and it's called Brains. And this definitely came from a subscription. Um, it's supposed to be for Halloween. So that would probably uh, explain the, uh, maybe the reddish tinge that I see in there. Uh, so it's Vedlana Dusk. So 60% uh, Huyakaya alpaca, 40% Surrey alpaca, and it's a DK weight, 231 yards and 100 grams. Um, so definitely something you could, if you, uh, I would put in somebody's, uh, mystery box. Um, I have four available for, uh, the, uh, resin boxes and then two available for just uh just the yarn so for the just the yarn you would get three and a half pounds of just yarn with the resin item you do get three pounds of uh yarn and then one of my handmade uh, uh resin items um and you can go back um yes to yesterday and see me pour you can go to in my playlist under let's craft and you can see all of the things that i've poured and unmolded to kind of get the gist of what um what i do with the resin okay so this is the last one it's with lana tweedy sheep and it's called apple picking and it's definitely a tweed you can see the little um you know flex here with the black and the brown um, and it really like, it kind of reminds me of Granny Smith apples. Um, I don't know, maybe not with the black and the brown, but it, it reminds me of Granny Smith apples. Um, so it's 90% wool and then 10% Donegal uh, neps, and it's an iron weight, um, 150 yards and 100 grams. So again, um, definitely squishy and a wonderful, wonderful yarn. So that's all as far as um, uh, those two uh, packages go. So um, my plan is, is uh, after I post this, I am going to be doing a flash sale. So I am going to uh, uh, what is the dang word, dang fibromyalgia on my brain fog. Um, I am going to um, edit, that's the word, edit the video. And um, I am going to um, 
uh, put my boxes on sale in Etsy. I am thinking probably at least 10 to 15 percent off of the price right now uh, so uh, keep an eye out it's definitely worth it I want to say the boxes are worth any uh, right now I believe uh, the ones that are just uh, the the uh, yarn is $55 and the ones with uh, the resin items, they're $65 and they're definitely worth twice that amount. I've been told that I am undercharging uh, for uh, the boxes. Uh, I really don't want to raise the prices, but postage, my goodness, has gotten just absolutely insane. Um, it costs about 20 bucks for me just to mail the boxes out. And that's shipping flat rate um, so yeah it's like it's is uh, I think it's 1995 to ship a large flat rate box for the amount of yarn that I send out um, and I don't send just you know your typical um, like lion brand or um, premier or you know any of uh, you know uh, yarn inspirations stuff like that um, I also send out Noro I send uh, Hobi I send out um, brands that a lot of people have said they have never heard of because I I scour the internet for shops that sell different kinds of fibers different kinds of um, uh, yarns, uh, companies, small businesses, hand dyed, artisan, uh, wool, um, and uh, I mean like uh, like Paul Ply, uh, Paul Ply Yarn I believe and uh, Knits All Done um, and all of these uh, really great, talented artisan um, uh, I guess, well, just artists, I guess, who dye their own yarn. And I put those, um, I buy a couple of hanks, one or two, because they're expensive. Um, some of these hanks are 20, 25 bucks and um, you'll get one in you may get one or two in your box um and like for example i'm sure you know that these are probably about 15 to 20 bucks depending on you know what you get um and uh you'll get it in your box and you know and you're talking about three and a half pounds so i send cascade um, whirly gigs, sheep cheese. So um, you're you are also buying from my stash. So yeah, I don't know. I I I guess I'm trying to tell you that um, my product is really great. Uh, I do I think a really great job at putting my boxes together. Um, I also um do a great job with my resin as well so um please uh swing by my etsy shop pick something up uh so that i can then uh, put more up for you to buy uh so like i said i have two uh boxes left of just of just the yarn and then four left of the resin and the yarn. I have been told that the resin and the yarn boxes are worth more. They are worth more in value than just the yarn because my resin items are probably worth anywhere between 50 to $75 a piece. Um, so you're looking at close to, I don't know, 150 to $200 worth 
of yarn in each or yarn and art in each box and you're paying $65 um, so and I really don't want to have to raise my prices or have to charge you for shipping because right now shipping is free um, and then uh, keep an eye out tomorrow I am going to be announcing um, three giveaways one is going to be for breast cancer awareness one is going to be for my 200 plus subscribers and the other is going to be a um, sponsored giveaway with a company that I have purchased from um, I will be doing an unboxing and something really really special um, so yeah um, please um, please subscribe uh, I would suggest subscribing uh, now because if you're not subscribed you, you can't enter um, and the ability to win is is not there if you are not subscribed so uh, I want to make this fun for everybody so uh, I will see you guys tomorrow and then um, uh, the day after that after I uh, do the giveaway announcements I will be showing you all of the items that I poured so that you can see uh, how everything came out. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you um, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.